Today's stretch is a great stretch to do to get your horse to relax and be comfortable with the fact that you're going to be stretching. And we're going to do it by beginning with our right hand stretching it over our head and then crossing it to the opposite front shoulder. And when I cross it to the opposite shoulder, what I'm doing is I'm allowing the horse's movement to move me into a greater and deeper stretch in a rhythm, right? In the rhythm of their walk. And I'm lengthening the whole opposite side of my body. So as, as I tip further down, I'm increasing that stretch. And I'm going to feel it in my lower back. I'll feel it along the side of the body. And I think about increasing that stretch through breathing as well. So if I breathe into the rib cage, which would be my right side, so on the side that's opposite the side that I'm touching their shoulder on, so this, on this side, I'm going to breathe deeper into that rib, and I can really feel how those ribs open and they get a greater distance between each of the ribs. So that's what, one way to deepen that stretch. and reaching back and placing it on their hindquarters. So we just stretched our backside, now we're stretching the front of our body. So by reaching back, I allow that motion of the horse's walk again to open, open, open. And you should be able to see that in the video, I open, open, open. It's going to be really important we're not hollow in the back and arching our back to do this. So where it's going to come from, you may even have to tuck your seat under or like if you think about tucking your tailbone underneath and reaching back, that's going to keep your back in a more soft, neutral position. And that's going to allow the stretch to work properly. Now, to increase the stretch on, on this side, what I can do is I can reach back towards the horse's opposite hindquarter. So instead of my left hand being on the left side, I am now reaching across his spine and placing it on the opposite side. So I'm stretching even more. And I don't know if you could see, but my horse let his head down, he relaxed, he let out a nice big blow, and that is him saying, okay, this feels good. When doing them, it's going to be important you keep your seat over the middle of the saddle. If when I reach across to the opposite, and I'll do it on this side. If when I reach across, I allow my seat to come forward, you can see how my lower leg comes back. I may accidentally squeeze my horse, which in turn is going to cause them to go trotting off possibly, or cantering off, or it might just goose them and surprise them. And then they're gonna be a little apprehensive the next time you go to reach across. So be sure to keep your seat over the middle as you reach across. And then now I'm in balanced, I'm balanced over my feet. I've got my center of gravity still firmly over the middle of my horse. And that way I'm not getting out of the balance and having my legs swing. Okay, grab your audio to this, to this lesson. Go listen to it either in the car, get your mind wrapped around more of what you're going to be working on in this particular exercise, or listen to it on your horse. And until next time, happy riding.